All right. Welcome to our what is this? Our fourth session of uh, of uh, yeah, fourth session of uh, Theft of the Moon by Jacob Rogers for uh, which I have taken the liberty to convert from first edition to second edition um, uh, for the sake of playing in the One Ring. Uh, the the role playing game that is based on J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle Earth, and is an absolutely amazing representation of it. Um, uh, last week, we our, our players finally got on the road to uh, uh, you know to following uh, the bad guy or bad guys. Is it? Hmm. We don't know. Uh, there were a pair that let off. But there was only one that got to the old ford. And we'll have to see what happened to that one. Um, but I can guarantee you it's going to be, well, about as interesting as it's been thus far. So let's go ahead and get to it. And off we go. Uh, what do you all remember from last week when we played? <laughs> Don't uh, everybody the, talk at once. <laughs> the, we discovered that the sickle had been stolen, and we all were tracking it. We were following some tracks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? I extraordinarily no. scared the guy's alive. <laughs> we, uh, we made it to the bridge, and we talked with some Hurians, and we're, I think we convinced them to let us cross the bridge. Yes. And uh, we're going to uh, follow the tracks. It's probably going to take us to the Misty Mountains, where I'll be very useful with my important skills. And uh, <laughs> I suspect we're hunting orcs, but we might also be hunting evil men. So, okay. You either of those, they need my mallet or my mallet <laughs> in their hand. Okay. Um, uh, did uh, did did the first three that were talking miss anything? No, I'm good. There you go. Oh, um, I like everything. It, it was uh, her clever talking that got us across the bridge. Yes, yes, it was, and that was very cool. Let's see, travel. Very, very well done. Yes. That I can definitely agree with. Well done, my young Padawan. Okay, um... <laughs> so, uh, let's see. So, Norin, uh, you are our guide. Please give me yep. a travel roll. A nice travel roll. Alright. Oh! Well, I only failed at my three. Mm -hmm. So... But, I spend a point of home. <laughs> you want to do that? Or, or, can't, yeah, because I can't really use I want to. fellowship yet to uh, restore any. Um, let's see, how many? Oh, yeah, I'm masking my help. So, yeah, let's use a point of home. Okay. Come on, three or higher. There we go. Okay, so that that'll give you that'll give you enough to make that roll. Uh, let me see something here. Now wait a minute, is that on the right page? It is. It is. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. do. All right, now I, I need to look up something because I, I still don't have everything 100% down. Uh, they did change enough to make it difficult to get through some things. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm still reading my book anyway. <laughs> yeah. And my video. Okay. So that's... Okay, no problem at all. So, do you guys, uh, you guys kind of, did you decide to stay over at the old Ford? Or did you just continue on? I think we were continuing on. Okay. Well, 
the, um, yeah. the trail yeah. the trail led there, didn't it? Well, yeah, the trail we led to the old Ford, but we but yeah, we, we agreed we, last time not to to carry here. Oh, oh that's, that's right. right. And, and yeah, we, we said we didn't want to before. We didn't, get, we, we didn't want to lose them any more than we might already have. So okay, yeah. we didn't want to fall further behind. Yep. Yeah. That's okay. And yep. And dwarves are used to traveling. I'm used to traveling. My character is traveling all over the place. So yeah. We're okay. not, and we're not exhausted. I'm better we're mountains, weary. not dwarfs. We're not weary or anything yet. So no. As a matter of fact, you guys have done so well um, that you haven't even had an event yet. So what I'm going to do. Um, is uh, probably on this next roll, I'm going to to uh, give you guys an event if you do not indeed roll or, you know, make a failure on your travel roll. Um, now, let's see. Not going to worry about the hunting. You guys are considered to be hunting uh, for stuff. Uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do the rolls anyway, just to, to make sure. So, hunters... You've got to make sure that you've got enough food. Um, you've only actually been traveling for six days now, um, uh, but that's pretty much enough to to not exhaust your food, but to more or less cut it in half if you're doing some decent hunting. So go ahead, uh, Yuld and Duota, go ahead and give me uh, a couple of hunting tests, please. All right, one second. Okay. Oh, that's. Hey, I got nice. a rune. That is nice. Great success. For okay, so uh, yeah, Duota, go ahead and uh, and add a skill point because you not only rolled a a Gandalf rune, you also rolled a uh, a Tangwar, which is nice. And Yuld, I'm not seeing yours oh, I yet. I got two runes. Yeah, you got two oh, runes. That's good. right. My bad. No worries. Wait, so so I get to bring my uh, hunting up from three to four? Uh, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. Uh, your skill points are on your character sheet, kind of down the way a little bit. Um, Yule, do you want to? You don't have to spend any uh, any hope if you don't want to, but you could. Um, because du Duota got a great success, so if if you kind of of work off of her success. Um, it, it's, uh, it's actually really good. Now, Duota, let me get to, uh, Heroes, Theft of the Moon. Yeah, I let found me... where the skill points are. Yeah, let, oh, you found I them? I found it. Okay, good, good, yeah. good, good. Thank you. Um, now, I, I'm just awarding skill points. I know these are pre-generated characters. I'm just awarding skill points in general. Uh, I would award a gen uh, adventure points as well. Um, uh, a little bit later because they've definitely changed that. So, okay, for for the hunting, you managed to find enough uh, good food to eat. Uh, I know that I have not read the the material about the uh, the the uh, West Middle Vales uh, that you've just crossed into, or about the old Ford. That's something that if we were to decide as a group to continue with this game. That uh, that you would get information on later, but uh, I gave you a basic description of the old Ford last time, so hopefully uh, that's enough for now. Let's just say you're in an area with tall grasses, few rocks, and quite a few wild animals that are that you can hunt and use for yourself. Um, Luthwin, um, you you can either let's see. You can either roll awareness with a small bonus for the speakers, or you might be able to have a different use for the I'm speakers. Old, wait. Uh, okay, but first, is it dark? Um, no. No, it, it is late in the day. Well, actually, you've been through three nights, so you're probably in the mid to late afternoon, but it's not dark yet. 
Okay. But you can, you guys can come up with imaginative uses for your traits. I can't ask the stones to talk, to, you know, or area to talk to me if somebody were to enter it, can I? Can't have it speak to me after, at a later date, I have to be speaking to it? You would, yeah, it would have to be a current thing. Hmm. I currently can't think of another use for speakers. Um, so I'll just roll. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, hold on, I'm going to go ahead and kind of remind you about something you guys were told last week uh, when uh, Duota basically forced her way <laughs> across the bridge. Oh, Do you, oh, oh, oh. You remember how... Who passed through here? Mm-hmm. Can I ask the bridge? Uh, uh, you could you could ask the bridge, but the bridge is only going to have knowledge about who has passed over it, and it will basically okay. tell you the same thing the guards have already explained. Oh, okay. Remember, the guard said there was one that passed over the bridge. How many oh. were there that left the uh, um, left the the uh, Stony Ford? Two. How how many? One we thought was a what? E exactly one you thought was a a guy named that uh, a a guy whose name we knew, and the other we thought was maybe a goblin or something like that. Okay. So naturally, he would have hit or tried to stealth his way across. Okay. That's true. So, in that case, Connor, how would you use... And, and you guys can give him a hint if you want to. Um, I have a suggestion or an idea. Ask the bridge if anybody went under or beside it through the water. Because that's uh, where an or, or goblin would have gotten. Can I? You you could. Sure. Is, is that what you want to do? You want to use the speakers for that? Yes. Okay. The bridge basically uh -huh. expresses that no one would pass under the bridge because they would be swept downriver by the Anduin. So no one passed beneath the bridge. Or beside it, or... Or beside... Yeah, exactly. So, it... The only way it cross is on top. Mm-hmm. Well, as far as we know. Could they swim? Is it possible to swim at this board? No. The, no, it the, just told us that it would be swept away. Right. The The Great River, uh, except for a couple of months in the wintertime, and it, it's uh, it's basically, it's not wintertime yet, but it's harvest time, so it's late autumn. Um, so the, the Great River is so swift that crossing it is almost impossible, except for those couple of months during the wintertime. So, Luthwin, remember that you have all kinds of territory and terrain and stuff around you um, that you might be able to get impressions from. But uh, you, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you to think about it. But I want you to go ahead and make your awareness test, just a regular awareness test. Um, to see what else okay. is around you. And if it's a fantastic awareness test, I'll give you some information that will be good for you. Great success. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, so you've, you've got one Tangwar rune, so I'm not going to give you a, a point 
uh, off of that one. Uh, the reason Duota got it was because she she rolled both a uh, a, um, a Gandalfs and a Tangwar. So, but this is good enough to maybe get you a little bit of extra information. You see, um, you see the tracks of the 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 goblin or small orc that passed through um, as you're getting uh, to the other side of the bridge. Is there a tree stump near the river? Um, no, not a tree st Well, I don't know. Around the old ford, there might be, because they would have to use wood and stone to rebuild the bridge. So okay, I, that's not what I was asking. I was asking like a fresh tree, tree something like they cut down a tree and then use that to make a bridge. Oh no, no, no! I don't think they would have done this under the watchful eyes of the Bayornings anyway. So you would probably have to go back downriver towards Stony Ford again uh, on the western side to be able to determine that, and that would take some time. You may lose your quarry. Okay, so what were you saying until I interrupted you? <laughs> I, I'm saying that there there are uh, the the tracks that kind of they meet a little bit down the road that's on your map um, uh, as you guys are going around uh, more or less uh, uh, the old ford. And they t tend to continue north for a little while. Alright, so... Anybody tell me this? <laughs> Lewis one? Yeah, I, I'm... Yeah, I'm talking out loud when, when I notice that. And they're going north, you say? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, um, so, they're heading towards Hamlin Town, then. Alright. Or into the mountains, probably. No, north. <laughs> along the Great River. Yeah. Oh, well, oh. Okay. The, Wait, that's... Oh, so they're on this side of the river? Yeah, the map is, is actually oriented as it's supposed to be. So, yeah. north is up. But, but, yeah. Well, north would be into the mountains. Too. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, no, they're, they're going they're, north and, and uh, um, not northwest. Alright, so we're going north along the river. Yes. Alright. Well, then we can follow him. Okay. Um, then... I am determined okay. to not lose them. Okay. Um, Radigand, just so that you can get your roll in for this time around, too, uh, roll me an explorer. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to find uh, uh, accommodations for for the evening. Um, so uh, go ahead and add two to your roll. Yeah, leave it at two. That's fine. Radigand. Ginger. What am I supposed to be doing? Uh, go ahead, go ahead and roll explore for me with a plus two. Okay, let me get to my character sheet. I didn't have it up. Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey now. <laughs> oh, your orcs come, and you're not paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so no, I was I was studying those tracks, you know, <laughs> that uh, Luth one pointed out, right? Yeah. Are you well? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Luth one. So, um, so that was a great success. So for the past three days, you've been able to find accommodations just fine, no problems. Uh, so, um, Norin, it's your turn to let me have a um uh, a uh, travel roll, please. Okay. Yes. And let's see, I need to do kind of the same thing. Do I have, yep, blind GM roll. So let's go ahead and roll that. That should be good. Okay. <laughs> An extraordinary success. Hello. Okay. Two, two Tangwar runes. Okay. Oh. Uh, let me, let me figure something out here. I've got to figure out how far, 
the bad guys are actually moving. Oh, that's, that's a basic. They weren't catching, the, they weren't catching up on them. As a matter of fact, um, let's see. Their standard movement is going to be... Uh, okay, i got to pop that open so that I can move. But for you guys... Um, let's see. Oh, your, your game is, your game is paused. Sorry, I can't move. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize about that. Um, you get up to this point. Uh, let me kind of get everybody here. You get up to this point uh, in the river. You've already passed the Carrick um, for Duota. And let's see. For Duota only. Uh, passing by the Carrick, since mm -hmm. the Carrick is, a, is more or less like a stone of faith for your people it's a very very important uh area it's 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 kind of a very tall uh stone probably 30 40 feet there are are stairs that lead up uh steps that were carved into the rock so that you could go up and and be able to to uh um to worship the various uh, uh gods of uh the bayorning people uh, which have more or less been created in the last few years, uh, actually. And, uh, but you, you don't have time to really get up in there. And if you try, your friends are, are more or less going to to probably talk you out of it for the time being. It's not any special time of the season yet, so you don't really have to be there. Um, it's but, also because I'm not like a bear, you know? Um, I think... Think so. I would have to go back and reread again. Yeah. I've re I've it read the books once. That way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's read that way in the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I, it was either carved that way or it naturally appears that way. I I don't remember. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, the river is rushing along, um, but you do catch a break every day for the next five days. Okay. And you see the footsteps, and you you see uh, uh, little places for fire and stuff like that. And the tracks are much fresher than they were. So you're catching up, but it's a matter of of uh, um, of getting the whole way gone. Okay, if you know what I mean. Um, well, Lauren is uh, one of his traits is determined. Mm -hmm. And since, uh, since he set out on this, he's determined to not let that artifact get lost and to take vengeance on the thieves, so, especially Florence. So, okay, so let I'm, me ask you this. I, I'm, I'm going to uh, encourage my companions to move. Okay. And not carry. And apparently and your really, encouragement works really well because you get, and, you know, pretty and far. I'm, and I'm going to do the, the Gimli line of towards some good at short spurts <laughs> 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 and try and catch them <laughs> and take them, take them out. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of, I'm, I'm going to describe something because here I am all caught up in the travel phase and I missed an important part just a minute ago. Um, as you're all, it's, it's getting on to late afternoon and one of you notices in the waters of the Great River that there is a body washed up on a rock uh, next to, on your side of, of the river. When you go to examine oh the, yeah, when you go to examine the body, you find that it is an orc, or not an orc, a, a goblin. Wait, uh, does the uh, river flow this way? Yes. Or? Yes, it flows to the south. Could it be the same goblin we're tracking? You don't know. You'd, you'd have to find out. So let me go around. Uh, let me go around the table and find out what everyone wants to do. Duota, what do you have in mind? Um, 
goodness. Uh, I think the first step would be to double check and make sure it's dead. It's very dead. <clears throat> Matter of fact, its flesh <laughs> is is fish cold, uh, and you can tell that uh, it has stone. Its skin has turned to stone in some places, but not many. Uh, more likely, the um, the clothing or the the garb that it's wearing uh, has kept it from becoming too. Well, what do I say? Um, rigor mortis. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's in rigor. It hasn't started decomposing yet. All right. It has it be, exactly. It has not begun decomposing yet. And if it remains within the river, it's I probably see. not. So, because that river is cold. Especially up here. Mm-hmm. So, Duota, any so ideas? Like it where, oh. Uh, I don't have any ideas. <laughs> okay. Uh, you old? I checked to see if it has any visible wounds on the outside to try and get an idea of how it was maybe killed. It does. Um, it has what appears to have been a sword blade thrust through its chest. So we at least have an idea of how it died. Mm hmm But it's also kind of hard to tell, probably hard to tell what kind of blade it was, whether it was made by human or maybe an orcish blade. You probably can't tell from the wound. Mm. You might be able to, but what skill would I'm that be? Hmm. Yeah, that's actually a very good question. Mm hmm Hang on, let me, uh... I'm um, trying to get... It a wound? Oh. Go ahead, go ahead, Ross. Is it a wound from the front or the back? It appears wider um, at the front. Uh, I was wondering if an opinion stabbed him in the back. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> if it mm. might be, if, you know, if it's the ones with the reason. Um, let's see, maybe um, battle or. Uh, I'm gonna say About insight. The, the or the oh, insight, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna say insight. Uh, you will go ahead and roll insight, please. And with my uh, knowledge of orcs, would that give me any sort of bonuses? Or yes. Uh, what is it? Enemy lore. Yeah, it's enemy lore for uh, orcs. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, add one dice to that. You can gain one dice off of that. Alright, here we go. Ooh! Oh! My. No! In, oh my god, dang it! <laughs> yeah, no, you really can't tell. If this was the normal game, I would be making a mark at this time. Because uh, for second edition, each session, each eye that is rolled, you mark it down, and if there's enough that are gained during a session, the next session, the 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 uh, the uh, uh, shadow begins to hunt you. So yeah. to to cause issues. <laughs> Fortunately, oh, since this is supposed to be like a four shot, maybe a five shot, you know, <laughs> it's not going to yeah. happen. Uh, I'm terrible. Still is bad on a perception check in D and D. Mm -hmm. the traps and failing and tripping the trap itself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> oh, it... well, right. Okay, Luthwin, any ideas? Uh, I asked the river when was the body dumped into it. Um, it says, uh, it basically tells you, uh, by nightfall of the previous night. And would that have been around the ridge? No. Because the river is flowing south. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it was dumped north of where you are now. And it, it basically floated 
uh, uh, through the evening to about about noontime the next morning when it or or the next day when it stopped at the rock. The rock stopped it. Hmm. Okay. So yeah. So it's likely its companion or someone they met ahead of us. Kill it. All right. Kill it well, dead. Now we're gonna have to look for uh, more tracks and see if we can find the battle scene. Okay. Where that happened. Okay. Well, let me. Uh, let me. Actually, Norin, you're you're next. What other ideas might you have? Um. Well, if it if it came from north of us down the river. Mm hmm. Um, there should be signs of battle, so I want to look for signs of a, you know, a fight. Okay, do you want to wait to get where the river m most likely places the battle uh, having happened, or yes. are you just going to... Okay, so I'll answer that yep. in, in a little bit. Uh, Radigand. Yep. Yes, um, has the body been robbed? Um... As a matter of fact, it, it has. Or it, hmm? it it doesn't have anything except its own um, uh, accoutrements with it. Um, there are no you don't you don't find any coin. You don't find uh, you find a dagger. It has a dagger in uh, in what would loosely be termed its shoe. <laughs> and is the shoe the same size as the kind we've been tracking? For the feet? Um, well, what I should call them is wraps, I guess. Uh, you know how the Romans had leggings and, and they would wrap them around their, their calves and, and their shins to protect them, but then their sandals were kind of, could kind of be caught up in that? Well, yeah. these goblins don't wear shoes of their own. They've got, uh, They've got, a, you know, different kind of feet based on whatever clan uh, they they come from, whatever family they emerged from. So um, when I say shoes, I mean it's it's like it's it's wrappings that would go down and wrap around its its feet, but would not actually be what we consider shoes. Whew. You guys are making me work for this. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you asked what I what I'd be yeah, checking for. That's absolutely. what I'd be checking. And and you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, uh, I will say this. Give me an awareness roll, if you would, please. Jeez. I don't think that my character is all that aware, but there we go. All righty. I love these dice. Okay, um, yeah. Are they pretty or are they biting me on the butt? What do you like about them? <laughs> uh, they're, they're both. They're both. Um, <laughs> uh, what, whatever oh. colors you guys chose, I can't see half of the faces, but I think that's a problem with uh, Dice So Nice and not what, you know, not you guys. It may also be something that my video card is not presently handling. <laughs> yeah, well, if I can't tell and... and, and uh, um, apparently I'm clueless. I, I, I'll make a stumped kind of sound like, huh. Mm -hmm. Anybody can tell if these are the same feet we've been tracking or not? Because clearly I'm stumped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think? But I do take the dagger. I mean, I mean it's either or something come out of the mountains without really good chores. Mm -hmm. And one or Goblin isn't going to come out of the mountain all the way south to steal something all by himself. So this is likely an orc that was with the other human or whatever that ran north. And the human probably betrayed him, slew him, and stole the the, the, the moon. So we what? should not waste our time on this goblin and move and find that battle site so I can determine where they went. Now, what is one other thing in Middle Earth 
that is true about uh, orcs and goblins. They what? can't travel during daylight Ding. unless they're a greater orc. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if they're a greater <laughs> orc, they can, but... Unless they're a Uruguay. This is not a Uruguay, so you have to travel at night. So, sup and during the day. Do, exactly. Does anybody have supposition about um, what that might mean? Since they can't travel during the daytime if they're allies. Mm -hmm. That their allies might be holed up somewhere in a cave a, or something? Yeah, there might be a cave or something nearby. Mm -hmm. It'd have to be. We need to find holes and things if we we're going to be searching for where this was. Would it also be considered, uh, if you guys are catching up to them, a motive for murder? Oh, one was slowing the other one down. Mm -hmm. If you can travel both yep. day and night, you can go much faster and escape. Yep. Yeah, especially if we've been spotted, but I, how could we have well, been? Uh, well, if the other one is not... A goblin it is a man, then he can travel. They can travel day or night, mm -hmm. or they can be a greater orc, or they can be a greater orc, one of the two. I, but uh, I or a half man, half goblin, or something too. I so. I also want you guys to consider something else. Just because. Uh, uh, you know, a man is uh, on the bad guy's side does not mean they lose their their cultural blessings or their distinctive you know distinctive features or specialties. Okay, they're going to have their own stuff that they can do uh, in oh, yeah. in the world. Oh, so, yeah. just something to consider. Which All right. Is, yeah. Okay. So, so we're going to go ahead and move forward. Um, uh, and at the end of your fifth day, uh, Norin, you're you're in the lead, and you kind of uh, you see more or less where um, a battle could have taken place. You've been looking for it, especially over the last several days, and. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in this particular instance, you, you do eventually run across it. You're almost stepping on it by the time you see it, though, because it's pretty well mm -hmm. hidden among a, a group of rocks in mm -hmm. a field of high grass. So, mm -hmm. but when, when you mm -hmm. see it, you recognize it right off. So what do you Is want to a, do? I want to look for signs of where, whether, um, they tossed the goblins stuff and took the 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 moon item and went did they go to the mountains or did they continue north ah, into the fields? Give me a give me a nice awareness check. Oh, let's see here. Okay, do you... I'm not sure that's going to give you the opportunity to throw any uh, hope at it. Or do you want to try? Yeah, yeah I'm rolling well, eye, so Yeah. Well that does not necessarily yeah. mean it's an automatic failure. No, um well, I'm only three down, let me Yeah, you've got it you've got a, a Tangwar rune in there. So that's you know, that yep. gives you your ten. Yeah, let me do the, let me use the corner hole and see if I can get something out of this. There we go. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Um, the footprints for the man continue on. Um, when you follow them for a bit, you actually come across the uh the black blood that would be part of uh part of an, uh, a goblin okay mm -hmm. um and 
it, the way it looks is that the goblin was standing still when he was run through. And the foot tracks of the man seem to indicate that uh, the, the goblin was actually picked up and thrown into the Anduin. Yeah, he came to try to throw us off. But well, as for yeah, as for equipment and stuff, you're not really seeing any marks for equipment. So if there was any equipment taken, um, instead of being pushed out during the ride down the Anduin, um, and probably lost to the bottom of it, um, yeah, uh, it's not readily visible. But the tracks well, continue fine. to the north. No, no. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, Yaman here isn't what was important. It was the uh, circling on the moon, which was important. Yeah. It, so he probably, he certainly took that and, ran, and continued. If he didn't so, already have it freely handed to him that, earlier. Yeah, that, yeah, and that's, and that's another point. Mm -hmm. He might already have had it. And mm -hmm. the Kelvin may or may not have tried to hit it from him, too. That's... Uh, you know, whatever. If either the helmet was slowing him down because of his daylight issue, or they had an argument or a fight. So. Yeah. Either way, it's irrelevant now, but it's just interesting to, to theorize. Yeah. So, um, hurry on after him. Men. <laughs> okay, so the uh, tracks continue. To the north northwest. All right, so let's go ahead and and get uh, other rolls out of the way. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to worry about it too much. You guys have made some pretty decent rolls for hunting and lookout and scout. Do you guys want to make your rolls for for your uh, jobs, or do you want to just drive on? I mean, we have rations, so. We're only hunting because we have the ability to. Mm -hmm. We don't really need to necessarily hunt right now because we're not like out of food or anything. So we can skip the hunting and maybe just focus on tracking and presuming. Oh. Yeah, let's press on as best we can. Okay. Now, Duarte, what did you have to say? I, I was about to say, I think I'm good. I think we should just press on. Okay. All right, so then, uh, Norin, go ahead and give me a travel roll. And I'm going to kind of do the same thing. My okay. bad guys. Let's roll up. Let's do this. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. That made something oh, nice. Oh, We're okay. traveling in luxury with you. <laughs> Yeah. No doubt. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a well-traveled tour. <laughs> okay, um, Norin, you got two Tangwar runes for that, my so go ahead and add a skill point. Pass, passing by Moria. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, this mm -hmm. is going to be kind of. Yes, I know how I want to run this. All right. Um, but I need to make some rolls, so give me just a moment. Uh, uh -oh. DM's rolling. Yeah, the DM is going to roll. Uh, if I can get these sheets to come up. Ready my manic. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on, that's a good boy. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the power of this software and uh, and how well I've got to say how weak my internet connection is today is really slowing things down. So um, let's see. How do I want to do that? Oh, stop! Stop! Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm making some rolls for all of you. And I need to write these down for being successful or not. 
Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Is that a good uh, ooh or a bad ooh? Th I don't know. It 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 might be a, a bad <laughs> ooh. Okay. Um. You know what? Ooh. I need to write this down on a separate sheet of paper. <laughs> Attention. I don't know what you're missing. Hard to tell. Uh, make you <laughs> wince. <laughs> yeah, when he gloats, definitely. Uh, wait, my bow, my axe. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> bow, axe, bow, axe. Decisions. Decisions, decisions, help me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um. Uh, I do apologize. This is taking me a minute because uh, uh, internet is kind of being funky on me. Ooh, holy smokes! Um, uh -oh. let's see. No, no, this is a good holy smokes for for you guys. Okay, good. At least for the first two oh, of you. He failed. Who? Eh. It's two. <laughs> it's two. Yeah, you can't see what I'm rolling, Connor. <laughs> Or if you can, I'm screwed. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I have the power! I pray not all right. And uh, read my mat. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, I, I'm... I'm gonna keep rolling because I want to find out how far it goes, but... Um, I'm, I'm rolling once for each of you doing passive checks. Uh, we GMs know about those passive checks. It's just difficult to to do. Uh, uh, I don't think I got everybody. Oh, okay, I will in just a minute. That does sound ominous. And your dice are pretty cool also, by the way. Yeah, I, I had... To, uh, you're talking my dice? Yeah, the blue speckled ones? Yeah. yeah those are neat. The I, I use blue and green, green for the for the uh, success dice, but uh, I'm I'm telling you this is I love how um, dice so nice works. It's really cool. Okay. Ooh, not so good. And. But that's okay. That's okay because you guys have this squared away. All right, um, you old. You yes, you are the first to notice as Noreen continues his tracking, uh, and and kind of all of you are, are looking around and trying to make sure you know you're not going to get ambushed and things are not uh, in terrible shape and you can find enough to eat and good places to rest and everything like that. Um, but you, you old, are the first one to notice because you rolled the highest out of all of them. Um, well, I rolled the highest out of all of them for you. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> uh, that the tracks, not only do you see the tracks kind of wander off further to the east, it's more east-northeast uh, in this particular instance, uh, a couple of, or I'm sorry, not a couple. Uh, the one guy that you're chasing skylines on a rock outcropping and then quickly disappears. Um, you call hmm. notice to your others, to to your to your fellow uh, group, and you're able to get Luthwin and Dwota to to see the back of the individual as they kind of disappear behind a rock. Now, for all of you, you notice that the Anduin is is breaking off from a couple of different rivers. Uh, I've I, I've got their names, but I don't remember them off the top of my head. Um, the the Graylin and the Longwell. Okay, uh, I think the Longwell is the southern river here. Okay, uh, the Graylin is up here. And they meet uh, their tributaries that come down here, okay? And then they meet more or less here where the uh, Anduin River is. But all of you are basically able to, to trace that guy and you trace, uh, you trace him his tracks and are able to more or less follow him uh, after he gets done with the rock outcropping here, okay? Um,